I'm Haley Ray Ahrens, and we're here on Whitewater Campus asking students about their opinions on the punishment handed out to Ray Rice, former Baltimore Raven, if it was justified, too extreme, or not extreme enough. I'd say the punishment was fair. I mean, he did hit a woman, knock her out, and drag her out of the elevator. Uh, so with that being said, he should have been suspended indefinitely, I think. Uh, I would say probably just a little too extreme. Uh, the rules now are that basically the first um, offense like that, he people get like eight games out. And if he's on the first offense and he's got, you know, indefinitely, he's sitting out, it's, you know, he wasn't really given a fair chance. Um, I'd say it's pretty justified. I don't, I mean, watching that video it looked pretty harsh. And I've heard people say that, like, if you get hit a certain way on the side of your head, like, it could do some pretty bad damage to you, so... Well, uh, it's come to my attention that the good all guy, who's not actually that good of a guy, uh, only punished Ray Rice because it was caught on video. What about all the other players who may have done naughty things that we didn't get to see? So yeah, totally. I mean, it's a cultural thing, obvs, but you shouldn't hit your wife no matter what culture you're in. Well, from where I came from, I'm from Saudi Arabia, that, that's fine to do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't think suspending him is enough. I mean, whenever some, whenever a celebrity do something, they just suspend him from whatever whatever he does. But I think he should go to court first. Honestly, I don't think it was extreme enough. I mean, it's sort of like a slap on the wrist. I mean, yay, he gets kicked out of the NFL, which is cool and all. However, you know, like you're beating another human being. So I think, you know, maybe some jail time. He should have to pay some fines. Um, like, yeah, he isn't making millions of dollars anymore, but he still has his name to stand behind, um, which hopefully at this point is very tainted. Um, so yes, I do think the punishment is not extreme enough. Um, and I, who beats people? Like, it's, like who does that? Well, I think it was just about right as far as the NFL goes. He definitely should have been suspended. As far as outside of the NFL, I don't think it was extreme enough. Because of what he actually did, he should have, um, you know, got some kind of punishment from the law because that is a really illegal um, act. I never think it was justified. Uh, I really appreciate the NFL for cracking down on the uh, domestic violence cases. Uh, Do I think that it was the right punishment? Probably not. For a uh, person that, that actually beat up his wife uh, to just be suspended a season or indefinitely, probably not enough. There should have been a situation that the courts would have addressed um, more significantly. To just have a, a diversion program is probably not the, the appropriate way to go. Uh, not everybody gets to play football, and when you're an elite athlete, it's a luxury to be able to do so. So you better, you know, you really need to uh, mind your manners and, and be a good citizen because that right can be taken from you in an instant. I think it was way too extreme because he's probably not going to play in the NFL again. And I mean, his first one was only two games, but then the reason why they put it up more is because the NFL is actually, NFL is that he's a criminal, but the NFL is too, they lie. He should only be suspended six months or like six games, I mean, so. So there you have it. Although many different people thought that punishment was necessary, there was many different viewpoints on the punishment needed. I'm Haley Ray Aaron signing off at Whitewater Campus.